Hey YouTube, it's Josh Letissier, I'm back with another tutorial. Just a quick one today, um, just a quick Ableton workflow tip. Um, so this is what I see when I open up Ableton. Um, it's probably not what, what you guys see if you haven't played around with the default template. So what I've done is I've set my Ableton template so that when I open up Ableton, I've got a trigger for a kick, I've got a kick channel, and my favorite synth, which is Serum. Highly recommend to get that if you haven't got it already. Um, and then I've also set up my uh, reverbs, how I like them as well. You've got room, plate, hall, chamber, and delay. Um, so you can create a template in Ableton, your default template in Ableton, using pretty much anything. So just as an example, I can insert another MIDI track and say, I'm just going to put in sub, color it that color. Um, I'll put in serum again. I can input that and I'll just have my default sub. Just do something like that. Direct out. Okay, so I'm happy with my template. And then what you've got to do is click Live, Preferences, Save Current Set as Default. So I click Save, Overwrite the Default Set, OK. And that's it. So if I quit Live now, it's going to ask me if I want to save. You don't have to because I've just set this as my default template. So I'll click Don't Save. Can I open up Ableton again? And there you have it. You can see the difference because I've added this extra sub-channel here. Um, and it's as simple as that. One thing I do recommend doing, if you use multiple computers like I do, I've got my laptop and my desktop to produce music on, I'd recommend saving this um, as a set, so save live set as, and then I have got a default here, and I've just saved a default live set, so I'll just do this, and put in default 2, and then if you've got splice or something, you can sync this project, open it up in your other computer, and then uh, go to live, preferences, save current set as default. So yeah, I'd highly recommend doing this if uh, you find yourself adding the same things into each track or into each project that you're working on, because so it can save a huge amount of time. Um, the main thing I'd recommend it for is your reverbs. Uh, get your reverbs set up super nice and your delays um, one time, and then you don't have to set them all up over and over again. So it's a big time saver. Okay, cheers. I'll be back with another tutorial soon. Cheers for watching.